guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start a new series and I'm so so excited about it because it is with Paula, one of my best friends here on YouTube and she is from a beauty guru make me do it and she is called that on Instagram and YouTube and I'm sure you know her. She is wonderful, she is amazing and I just really really love her channel and what she's putting out there. Just honest and she does hauls not this year because she is on a uh, no buy but she have done some hauls uh, which is called what the haul Paula and I'm just I just love that name for your hauls Paula and she is shopping her stash as well uh, in some videos and she's doing pretty pants empties and stuff like that so you will love her if you don't already follow her but she's just amazing and she is not sorry about her stash at all even though it is huge i just really love that she's so honest about everything that she does about her makeup collection and stuff like that i just really really adore her so i'm just so excited that she wanted to do this kind of series with me so i'm really really honored <laughs> we are going to shop our stash and i watched a few videos of this kind of series. I watched Gay Kissa shop her stash for Live and Call, uh, the Pantone color of the year. I saw Kelly Gooch do this. I saw uh, One Beauty Addict, Alex, she did it. And if you want to watch more of these kind of videos and not just from me and Paula, Amanda and Jessica are doing this kind of project as well. They started out with cream white shadows yeah, they are doing it monthly and we will do that as well. So yeah, great minds think alike because it is basically the same. But me and Paula, we have been thinking about this for months. So it's finally here and we are really, really excited about it. And just share us shopping our stash. If we would have known Jessica and Amanda would have done this series, we would definitely have collab together all four of us but we didn't we are going to shop our stash for living coal pantone color of the year and it says on their website that this pantone color living coal is a life affirming coal hue with golden undertones so that is kind of what i have tried to find in my stash it is heavily focused on eyeshadows and then me and paula we thought we was going to pick some blushes, lipsticks and so on that could kind of match what and was still in that living coal category. They are not identical for each other but they are really really close and I think they are kind of living coal inspired or colored <laughs> at least. Let's start out with a single shadow so why not we have to start somewhere. So this is a L'Oreal Infallible like pigment loose eyeshadow kind of thing. It is in 039 Magnetic Coal. So this is the color on the outside and I'm sure you have seen these kind of uh, eyeshadows before. They don't make them anymore but I'm just really really enjoying it at the moment. Orangey Coal Peachy Shade. I do have it on my inner third of my eyelid. So that is that loyal infallible and that is one swipe when I twist my finger around in the pan. I really really like this shade and I'm really excited to be working on it this year. Then we are going to move into my Panda palette for 2019 and I'm really really excited to be working on a very colorful palette this year. So I am going to swatch this color right here. It is a very very beautiful coral shade and I don't have anything like it and I don't have anything like this bright. It is a matte shadow, so it doesn't have that golden undertone and it is way more cold than the L'Oreal shade. Then I'm going into my BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and I am going to be taking that shade right here and that is called Candy. Candy? Candy? So that is a little bit more orange like, but it's still a cold kind of shade. That is just more true coral, so I guess that is the most true to color I have yet. Then we have my W7 Life's a Peach eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going in with two shades and the first one is Pure Pleasure and then we have Peach Please. These two shades right here. The darker shade is more red toned but it is still peach 
coral. It is not as dark on the hand that it is in the pen. It is that one, sh that shade right there, and this one. So this is a true peachy shade, and that is more coral, like the one in my NYX palette. Then we have my W7 Dusk Till Dawn palette, and I am going to swatch this shade right there, which is called Bearded Dragon, and it is looking very much alike the one from the peachy palette just a little bit lighter i think as i said it is going to be shopping our stash for some cold orangey tones and then we're going for an yet another matte shadow and it is from the w7 on the rocks palette and i'm going to swatch that one right there it is called body shot i guess this is a bit more darker peach but it is still in the coal orangey PG family. Another shimmer I have is from my MDK Wise 4 palette and it is the shade called Flame. Right? Yeah, Flame, that one. It is a very uh, metallic glittery shade but it is pairing so well with the rest of the colors that I have just swatched. It looks very very orange in the pan but it is actually very cool peachy when you swatched it. So this is the shadows that I have shopped in my stash. The true colors for the living coal is these two right there. But yeah, some of the others are cold coal or in that family. So I thought I would include them as well. In the beginning, I said we wanted to show you some blushes and lipsticks and st stuff like that that could match these kind of eyeshadows. Now I have taken them off, but you know, we kind of get more of that color. So I'm going to show you some blushes First. The first ones I have in my C palette and the ones I want to talk to you guys about is Coralista and Sugar Bomb, I believe they're called. They're beautiful and they are kind of peachy coral shades and they're very very nice. Sugar Bomb is not very pigmented uh, if you think about it. So that is Sugar Bomb and that is Coralista from Benefit. Another blush that I love so much is the Bone Fred Boy blush. This is a peachy coral blush. It is the one that I have on my cheeks today. And I just really, really love this blush. So you can see it is this kind of color. So as you can see, this Fred Boy blush from the balm is much more pinky than the other two. But I think that makes it more coral as well. These two has the golden undertone that I was talking about in the intro as the two shimmer shades I showed you for the eyeshadows. So the next blush is my Essence Mosaic blush in Miss Floral Coal. It is beautiful. So in general I am just more of a peachy coal blush fan so it makes a lot of sense <laughs> that I really like these kind of blushes. So this is a little bit lighter, a little bit more peachy but it is kind of cool as well. Then we have another benefit uh, blush. It is California. It is this one. I have it in a mini size, <laughs> which is kind of perfect because this is a very bright blush and I have no idea when I'm going to be going through this. But this is a very, very bright blush. Can you see that swatch? <laughs> yeah, I guess that is more of a true to color living coal blush it doesn't have any golden uh, shimmer or undertone or something like that the last blush i wanted to talk to you guys about is my w7 cheeky flusher so i think this is a perfect kind of living coal coal blush because this has a golden shimmer undertone to it so i think this is kind of perfect can you see it Hope you can. So this is more of the more shimmery blushes that I have. One of the only ones actually. These are the blushes that I think in my collection is living up to the Living Coal theme or Pantone of the year. So I have two highlighters to show you guys and they are not coal but they are more peachy and I think they are so nice together with the blushes that I just showed you. And the first one is my sleek highlighting palette in Saltish and I'm going to talk about the shade called oh I can't pronounce that Ecunas I do not know how to pronounce that <laughs> oh my god 
So, this is the palette. I'm sure you know it already. So I'm going to swatch this shade right here, which is a more peachy shade. But it is going to be beautiful with those blushes. Most with the, mostly with the matte blushes, because the W7 one was very, very shimmery. This is the shade. It is a peachy highlight, but it is a beautiful highlight. And it's very, very blinding. Look at that. And it's amazing. It is so beautiful. And it's not too dark on my very, very pale skin tone. It's just beautiful. I adore this shade. You can blend it out so it's not that like stark. The next one is a loose highlighter I have is from W7 Light It Up and Glow All Night. It is a duochrome loose powder highlighter. Oh, I take it as a highlighter. It's very messy. Ooh. Well, now I just have a peachy shimmer all over the place, but it is beautiful. It is this one right here, so it is kind of a dupe for the sleek palette, but it is beautiful. In the consistency, you can feel that it is a loose powder, so they're different as you can see there, but they're beautiful either way and they're peachy and... Just stunning. Then we have Libby's and I have a few. Some are more coral, some are more peachy and some are more kind of orangey. So for the glass, I have a Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Lacquer and this is in 400 Aloe and Coal. It is this shade right here. I tried to pan it not very successfully last year. But as you can see, it is a bright orangey coal shade and I just thought it was going to be perfect for this video. So that was the first lippy that I thought of in my collection that would fit this theme. So that is one swipe. It looks so orange, but I swear to you, it's more coal. It is a Mimi Me Lip Glide Velvet Finish Lip Color in Playful Peach. But I actually think this is more of a coal color and it is a lighter color when you have it on your lips. I think it's more coal than it is peachy. This one is a Max Factor Color Elixir Giant Pen Stick in Subtle Coal. So yeah, it is more subtle because it is more light, it's more sheer. That is the swatch of this pen stick from Max Factor. It's not a lip gloss, but it's not a lipstick either, so it's kind of in between. Um, and it's, it's not sticky on your lips, so that's why it's not a lip gloss in my mind. But it is kind of a gloss stick, if you know what I mean. But it is a beautiful color, and I think these are very Living Coal approved. <laughs> so yeah, those are my most Living Coal products. And then we have my NYX Butter Gloss in Mabel Blondie. So this is more pink. But it is there and I think it is going to match beautifully with the other products that I have swatched for you. And these glosses are some of the best ones I think because they are not sticky at all on your lips and they're very comfortable. Then I wanted to talk to you guys about a liquid lipstick. But this one is from W7. It is the Skinny Lipping 2 in the color uh, Stolen Kiss. This seems light but it is drying down as a more darker peachy shade. It is very bad swatch, but this is the color right there. It is more peachy, but it dries down, so it's more of a coral finish. Then we have some bullet lipsticks. This one is a metallic matte from W7 in Apollo. I wanted to show you guys this one because it is a bit more orange, but it is a beautiful color. But I th still think it is in the category. And I'm a bit more orange as well. It is a P2 full color lipstick in Assert Yourself. It is a beautiful orange color. Just more of a bright orange than the matte one from W7. So I thought it was going to be very nice in this color selection. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun shopping my stash and I'm so excited for the next color that me and Paula will have chosen. I really, really like this series and I love getting to know my collection and I love to 
shopping mustache in a color theme so i hope you guys are excited for the next video in this series please check out paula if you haven't already and the other ladies that i have mentioned that have done this kind of uh, video and yeah until my next video i hope you guys are doing well and yeah please take care